everybody and welcome back to Drawing with Paolo. Today, a special request on drawing a horse's bust. And we'll begin with drawing the head on this side and the neck on this side. So to begin with, we're simply going to draw a circle. Once again, my favorite shape, a circle. Most of my drawings start with that. We'll draw a second circle right here on the left side, which will represent the cheek of the horse. Then we'll draw a pear shape line, an upside down pear coming all the way down over here which will represent the nose section of the horse. And of course, the wrap around top to the head. We'll attach the top of his neck over here, going all the way to the bottom, and the bottom part of his neck over here. There you go, just like a V shape. And then we'll add the ears. The ears are essentially elongated ovals with a point at the end, just like that. And we'll make another one on this side. This one is a little bit turned. The horse is paying attention to its environment and so his ears are sort of rotating. Then the next part here is to draw the outline where the eyeball will go underneath here, so it's a, his eyebrow. We'll draw the nose line over here where the nostrils will go later on. And then the bottom lip comes to attach sort of like this. Then we'll erase the lines in there just like that. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the hair on the back of the horse. And so we're going to draw wavy lines coming across like this. And we'll draw it in three sections, essentially. So here's our first hair line coming all the way down like this. I'm going to do it really loose to begin with, and we'll add more detail as we build along this drawing. A second wave of hair like that. And the third that will be detached a little bit more out over here. There you go. Once we have those done, we'll erase the lines inside. And then we'll add more detail inside there later on. So let's finish off this ear. We'll add a little thickness to it. And before that, I'm going to draw the top or the front of his hair here, just so that I can better outline where the ears are supposed to end up later on. So just like this, so you, can, you, can have, you can have fun drawing the hair in any fashion you like. Um, and you can look at, on the internet, see what a horse looks like, or you can check out a magazine. This would help you out in uh, drawing these a lot simpler. Make it easier for you. Study everything you see. Don't just you know go from imagination. It's all right to use a book or a magazine or an iPad to uh, watch the drawings. And let's start with the eyes here. So I'm going to draw a circular eye, sort of like our, do our dog drawing earlier. If you haven't seen it, you can go and check it out. And we're going to draw sort of like a football shape for that eye and of course the skin underneath the eye and the eyelid here. A little bit of folding of the skin there too. Then we're going to continue with the outline here a little bit more. All right. Then I like to make a nice white patch on the front of his nose. I'm not sure what kind of horse this is, but I want mine to have a nice white patch on the front of his face here. Sort of like that. And then we're going to color around that later on. Now let's color the eyelid here and make it nice and black inside there. Don't forget to leave a little white space to make it look like it's reflecting light so that the eye looks a little wet, looks more realistic with reflections in there. And then I'm going to add more hair details just by drawing lines going from side to side like this to separate the hairs and adding a little, you know, few detached hairs from the stack there. Just like that. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to color the inside of this ear very lightly. And then inside on the, uh, we're going to color the top and bottom sides a little bit darker. So that's where it's a little bit darker because the light doesn't get into there. And I'm going to redraw the lines surrounding it just so that I know I'm not going to erase these lines. I like them, and I'm going to make them darker. <coughs> Pardon me. There you go. I'm going to add a bit more hair here. The horse's mane. And I'm going to add lines going from the top to the bottom to separate each strand of hair, just like that. Sort of like girl's hair. If you like, you can check out your sister's hair if you've got a sister, or your mom, or your cousin. Ask her to sit next to you and you can draw her hair on the horse. I'm not saying your sister looks like a horse. I'm just saying that, that their hair is a really good example to drawing this horse's mane. 
I'm going to color everything in here really quickly. So if you need to pause the video, please do so. You can always pause and rewind this vi these videos at any time to catch up. Because, you know, I'm speeding these up so it's a bit faster and easier for you to follow along. It's a little boring to watch me color all this stuff. All right, I'm going to color then a nice dark line under underneath here because this is the shading, the shaded part to the horse's mane. And so under this part is uh, where the light cannot meet the hair. So I'm going to make it nice and dark on this side too. And don't, don't forget the third strand. I'm going to add a bit more lead to my pencil. It's funny how we still say lead, but it's no longer made of lead. All right, we're going to color this part in too. Redesign these lines. I'm going to keep those. I like them. So notice that I'm not drawing with a really uh, hard line the first time around. Draw really lightly at first, and then you can press a little bit more the next time you come around. So what we're actually doing is adding layer upon layer of graphite on our piece of paper. If you feel confident enough, you can definitely draw you know, in one single stroke, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that either. It's just that it's very difficult to erase a really dark line later on when you want to. Uh, and so it's better to start lightly. And that's a lot easier to erase later on. All right, we're going to color this in and draw these lines. Finish off the hair with a bit more detail. And we're going to do the right ear here. Color that in a nice light gray with a bit more darkness here at the bottom. Just to, to detach from the background. And now we're going to color in here uh, in a few minutes, the face, uh, the face, I was going to say facial expression, but there isn't so much of an expression on my horse. But we're going to color the face area in a nice light gray. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is draw the muscle lines and the upper lip here of the horse. Um, horses are very muscular in their neck and face area. Um, so we want to represent all of these. We're going to draw the nostrils like little circles. The right nostril here is thinner than the left. So we want to make this nostril a lot rounder than the right one. The right one is more like an oval and the left one is more like a circle. So we're going to draw the underline here for the neck which attaches to the elbow, uh, the shoulder rather, and we're going to add a few muscle lines over here on either side of the horse. So we're going to add a line here, one over here, going all the way down to the neck, a little Y shape here, one over here. Then we're going to color that in nice and gray the whole horse will be the same light shade of gray. We're going to speed that up a little bit for you. Man, I color fast. Now, this is not real speed, so don't try to imitate that. Just take your time in coloring this. There you go. So the next part is to add folds to this horse's body and coloring in parts. So let's say underneath the eye here, we're going to start shading uh, above the eye, shading a little bit to give that 3D look that we strive for in certain drawings, in sort of realistic drawing. We really want to add some shading underneath the nostril here to make it look realistic, give it that uh, thickness. And we're going to color in the lip here in a few seconds inside this nostril, of course, has to be dark. The underside of the lip here has to be dark as well. As we'll need to do it underneath the neck piece, uh, we'll color that in nice and dark as well, just because the light can't reach that part in our drawing. And as we go up, as we move up, we have to fade that darkness down a little bit and make it even darker down under here. There you go. We're going to draw in the bottom lip, comes to attach to this line here. And we'll color that in nice and dark as well. We'll leave a little bit of a white gap there so that it represents. A light reflection there. All right, nice and dark. Once again, even darker under here. Finish off this line a little bit better. Finish off this nostril line. Color that in nice and dark. Forgot this part here. So we're going to color this nice and dark on this side. Add a little bit of eye, a few eyelashes there. And now we're going to work on the cheek. So the cheek has this line here, which is a shaded line, and comes to attach to the 
first shape we made, or the second shape we made, as far as the second circle we drew here, this represents a nice bump, and so we need to shade that in. The bottom of the bump will be dark, and as you work your way up, you have to make it lighter and lighter. There we go. And we're going to do the same type of pattern work here, right next to this neck fold. Leave a little white gap and color all the way around. And we're going to color this side of the horse's neck as well. As I said earlier, this has to be dark too because the light cannot reach that part. The head is essentially blocking the light from reaching the neck. All right, all the way to the bottom of the shoulder piece. We'll do this side as well. There we go. And it's nice to leave these little white lines between our coloring patterns because it allows us, it allows the drawing to really have a sketch feel to it. And it's nice that way, in my opinion. If you'd like to finish it a little bit better, then please do so. It is your drawing. You do it the way you like. I'm going to keep mine sketchy today. A little bit of shading on this end here. And I think I'm going to color in below the hair as well. Make a nice shading underneath this mane here. All right. Make it a little bit darker on this side. And all in all, that's pretty much it. That's how uh, you draw the bust of a horse. It's a great request uh, that Julian made. And uh, this is, I hope Julian liked it. I hope you did too out there. Um, there's only a few more lines I'd like to darken and maybe color around my, uh, my white patch here on the face, which I'm going to do that in a few seconds. I, th I think this line is, <clears throat> pardon me, I think the white contour line is a bit too evident, so I'm going to color that in a few seconds, but I need to make it nice and dark under the neck here. Maybe a few more lines of darkness underneath the mane. Just like that, all the way over here. And the third bump, don't forget that one. And we're, we're going to color around this shape here. So like I said, essentially this is the bust of a horse. You can draw a horse with just basic shapes, circles and ovals, and you got your horse. Keep in mind, pay attention to magazines, look at real life, open your eyes wide and absorb everything you see, and you can repeat that on your piece of paper anytime. Guys, thank you for watching Drawing with Paolo. I really hope you enjoyed this drawing, and we'll see you on another episode another time on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. I'm not done yet. I want to finish this off here. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you later. Have a great day. How about a few more lines right here? Eh. Now it's done. Bye.